Good morning and welcome to Wake Up Wildcats. I'm Seth Miller. And I'm Will Deaton. Today is Tuesday, April 30th, and it is an A-Day. Our weather today will be partly cloudy with a low of 59 and a high of 85. Today for lunch, you can choose from chicken bites with macaroni and cheese or a whole wheat dinner roll. Tomorrow for lunch, you will have the options of orange chicken with vegetable fried rice or a cheeseburger or hamburger on a whole wheat bun. Attention class of 2024, over 200 of you have not completed the senior survey in Canvas. This survey must be completed so we can do your slide for graduation. If you do not complete it, you will not be properly represented at graduation. Go to the Senior Class Canvas portal to complete it. Cap and gowns will be available for pickup May 2nd during all lunches at Roy's Alley. You may also purchase your honor cords and stoles. However, you must have cash or check. Credit cards will not be accepted. Also, if you haven't taken your cap and gown photos yet, there will be another chance on May 14th. There's more info on the yearbook Instagram page at GBH Yearbook. Alert! A representative from the Hampton Roads Cosmetology Training Center will have a table in the Commons from 1230 to 2 tomorrow. Stop by and talk to them if you want more information. Let's wrap up today with a look at last week's sports with Caitlin. Hey y'all, it's Caitlin, and I'm here to give you last week's sports recap. Starting off, boys tennis takes a sad loss to Hickory, 1-8. J.P. Zano lost a tight back and forth first set, 5-7, then won a quick second match, 6-1, and sealed with the win in a third set match tiebreaker, 10-3. He is currently undefeated within the Southeastern District. Continuing, girls tennis took a W from Cox, 5-4. Kayla Kennedy and Chase Lennon both won their doubles and singles matches while Micah Williams and Sarah Allen both won their singles matches. Allen was a key component in the match as she was able to get us the last point to win the close match. Girls Tennis also took a big win from Hickory, 9-0, and Thursday they beat Lakeland, 9-0. Huge win for the varsity baseball team as they took on Hickory, beating them 13-6. The thrilling game went to 12 innings as the Wildcats scored 7 in the 12th. Calvin Mayberry, Casey Kadire, and Dawson Newman combined for 10 hits, while Hunter Curtis added two RBIs. Thursday, they defeated Lakeland 6-0. Cole Cinnamon, Jason Miller, and Jet Berry combined for a shutout. Calvin Mayberry and Brody Compardo had two RBIs each. Following, JV Softball took a loss to Hickory 0-13 on Tuesday. However, on Thursday, they took on Lakeland, beating them 13-0. Callie Bush threw a no-no, and Laney Groves and Taylor Cass both hit triples. Varsity Softball took a sad loss against Hickory 11-0. Thursday, they beat Lakeland 3-0. Aubrey Steckline led the team offensively, being 2-for-3 three with three RBIs, but Friday they took another loss to Kempsville. Next, boys soccer grabbed a dub from Hickory, 2-1. to one. Nico Paniotto with the game winner and Jaden Mascaro chipped in with a goal. Thursday they beat the Cavaliers, 6-1. to one. Moving on, girls soccer beat Currituck, 2-0. Audrey Oroch scored two goals with assists by Holly Carlson and Riley Duba. Lexi Miller completed the game with a shutout. After being 0-2, the girls honored their seniors with a spirited comeback of 2-2. Maya Greco with the brace and was assisted by captains Ava Gomez and Audrey Orock. Well, good luck to our Wildcat athletes this week. Now back to Seth and William for the rest of the announcements. Thanks, Caitlin. Well, now is my favorite part of the day. How is it your favorite part? It's only 9 a.m. Because it's joke time. And today's joke comes from sophomore Kaylee Polk. What is an astronaut's favorite part on a computer? Uh, I don't know. The space bar. <laughs> wow. It's really creative. What well, is all for today? I'm Will Deaton. And I'm Seth Miller. Wake up, Wildcats. And make it a great day.